Hey guys, what's up? Thank you very much for 1K subs. I reached a really huge milestone on my YouTube career. Without you, I couldn't have done this. I, I know <laughs> a lot of YouTubers say this, but it's true, you know. Without you guys, there wouldn't be 1K subs, so thank you very much. All right, this will be a little bit more rambly. I, I just want to talk pretty much um, how it is as community manager of a pretty big server, you know. I'm community manager of Whitemain. Same for Hateforge, but Hateforge is still in development, so there isn't too much to do. Besides learning, of course. Um, which isn't a big deal. I, I like to learn and, you know, get a bigger picture on what is going on and so on. But, um, yeah, White Main has around, it depends when you're online, of course. I would say around 1.5k uh, to 3k and even higher population wise. EU peak is, I would say, around 2.5 to 3k. Really solid, I would say. Um, it's a cataclysm realm. Progressive means progresses through the patches you know we are currently at patch 4.1 we will be on patch 4.2 uh, on august the 9th this is fireland so this is a big deal 4.1 is a little bit slow content wise not much there you know a little bit of uh, drought you could say but um there are of course a lot of amazing people which i'm really thankful uh, for really cute nice people that uh, are just happy when you help them and that feels really amazing and how i usually help is uh, through support you know if uh, someone needs uh, support with their client or has some game related questions and stuff like this or even donating you know a uh, white man has a cash shop you can donate there you don't need to use your uh, donation points but you could get some nice things like uh, transmog for example which uh, works in combination with the white man plus that's a subscription that's fairly new i never thought that a subscription would be that popular. I mean, the features that uh, we are offered there are pretty amazing. I mean, bear in mind, I'm working on a project, so it's a bit strange, you know, <laughs> a little bit biased there, but we have pretty much limitless uh, transmog, so you can um, transmog, for example, plate gear on a hunter or a priest, for example. So this is completely bonkers. And people love it. They uh, sub there. I, I don't have the current numbers. I need to ask that. <laughs> but uh, I see a lot of um, people having White Man Plus on our Discord. We have an extra uh, role there, you know. The, uh, the <laughs> negative side is... I I almost quit. Le let's cut it to the chase. I, I almost quit. It was just a lot of drama, you know. Private servers are never without drama. And uh, it's it's so dumb. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old for this shit, but it is so dumb. Um, anyway, but holy shit, it is really hard to deal with PvP players. <laughs> like, ooh. Of course, I understand the frustration, you know. Sometimes it comes across that we don't care um, or that s uh, things aren't done, which isn't true, though. It's, I mean, I understand this from a player perspective completely, but my issue lies uh, with the um, reactions and how people conduct themselves. For example, I would never... Uh, go on a project because I'm frustrated and say the stuff doesn't work, for example, which is just a blatant lie, you know, especially if you see them help people 24-7 uh, pretty much. This is what bothers me the most, you know, the lying, you know, this is, I really don't like it when people lie out of their teeth and, um, you know, personal insults, I get also quite a lot of personal insults, believe it or not, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I mean... I have a YouTube channel, I hear this pretty much a lot, you know, and the bigger I will get, the more I hear this, but I'm really at this point where I'm like, ah, okay, this, this just gets old, you know, of course, sometimes I get a little bit mad, but then it's like, ah, dude, whatever, I hear that 20,000 times already, it's not even that original, come on, man, yeah, <laughs> but this costs me a lot of energy like i see this even how the 
people behave towards each other. We had the situation where we are banning, you know, scripters, uh, cheaters in general, win trading and stuff like this. And oh, since we ramped this up, people got as mad. Like you would think uh, they wouldn't get mad, but my God, they got as mad about it, especially, you know, They were shit talking this stuff. I oh, do something about this, and you know, then you do something about this, and people get mad. Uh, it's uh, I don't know, uh, and then they make it sound like ah, oh, a small group of people um, manipulated you into uh, banning certain people, which isn't true, because this is up to our GMs, and our GMs don't just take one clip, for example, and say oh, this guy is guilty. No, there needs actual proof, you know. I am thankful that most people, at least I hope, do, don't work for the police or something like this because this would be a uh, that would be a mess, you know. Anyway, I'm really glad we have a really nice team, really hardworking people on all fronts. I'm really, really astonished uh, about that as well. I know now I uh, saw that different uh, or in a different side from other projects, so I'm really glad. Like I said, I really understand the frustration and I try my hardest to push you know uh, things when I see there are suggestions we have a list I put everything there and then I try sometimes to push you know a little bit further for example uh, with the conquest catch-up mechanic I don't know why I always say catch-up uh, but <laughs> I can't I can't help myself that I pushed uh, a little bit you know <laughs> A, a little bit. I pushed that a little bit. I'm glad we have this. Uh, you know, the focus is, of course, of, on 4.2 content and we don't have an unlimited amount of people. So I understand when sometimes it comes across that we don't listen or don't do certain things, but it is far from the truth, you know. Imagine we would listen to everything, hold our production pretty much, and then, you know, the next patch should release and nothing is finished. So... Maybe f something to think about. Um, uh, I understand it though, but I have to say it is a lot of entitlement. No, that is, I really don't like that. I, I told this uh, time and again, pretty much there will also be another video, I think before this one, where I also talk about this again. It's like at the end of the day, no one is forcing you to do donate. Of course, we are more than happy that you do because this supports us Uh, you know, the people working on the stuff, etc. You know, at the end of the day, it's something for free. And don't get me wrong, I hate people that hide behind stuff like, oh, we're doing it for uh, free, so you uh, can't uh, fault us. No, that is not what I'm talking about. But maybe think about this a little bit. And then, you know, from adult to adult, how can you sit there, lie or insult the staff when you don't even know how it works? And instead of asking how it works, you just get mad about it. It's like, maybe think about this a little bit. Also, I don't know if the people are actually adults. I think so. But if you are not an adult, maybe think about this like this. Like how you talk at the moment. How would your parents react pretty much i don't know if i would be unhinged you know and uh, talk shit 24 7 and uh, insult people i think my parents would be <laughs> really disappointed in me again i really understand the frustration but this is a huge reason why you know private server are so toxic it should it doesn't need to be this way especially on the pvp front We had a really nice one versus one tournament, you know, a smaller one, um, really nice organized by SK, our new PvP manager, and Sila. Same for Niam help there, really awesome. And then you have people that are just being nasty, you know, all the time being nasty. Oh, this shit server. And then, you know, you are hosting a tournament, you are streaming that live, and then you have a person in your chat or people in your chat. Uh, bad mouthing the project but they still watch that is behavior i will never understand it's like not only is this extremely disrespectful but it is also extremely disrespectful towards yourself like you're wasting other people's time and your own time that shows me you have zero self-respect that i find that really bothersome i really really do and then yeah i don't know you know i'd really try my best to always be Uh, nice and professional and I know people don't like the word professional 
but it doesn't help when I punch back all the time. Of course, sometimes I punch back or show people the door. <laughs> I do this as well. You know, there needs to be a certain level of respect and professionalism and it doesn't help if you um, punch back all the time. It, it really doesn't help. I really don't understand this aspect. Like I said, I understand the frustration, but not the way how people conduct themselves. I find that really strange, really alien, to be honest. Maybe you know, I'm over 30 years old. I won't say how old I am. This shit, I don't know, man. This is such childish behavior. I really don't like that. Same with the drama stuff. This is so much unnecessary shit. And then you have ex-staff members that openly shit talk you and stuff like this. Meanwhile, I know what they did. I had to clean up after them and to actually sit there and behave like this is just, oh, this is so mind blowing. And you know, this is not the only private server where this, uh, shit like this is happening. This is happening all over the private server scene. And I think this is also the huge contributor why we also don't get a lot of new projects or um, new people in because it's extremely toxic if you look at world of warcraft as an mmo the community is already really toxic but this just you know takes the cake and i really think people should rethink their behavior on this this is gatekeeping on a whole another level this really doesn't help and you know we should be welcome it doesn't matter if someone plays retail or something like this. You know, I have my opinion on that as well. But the players can't really, uh, you know, they are not at fault that Blizzard uh, does stupid decisions. Of course, you can say, yeah, well, they are um, supporting this. But you could also turn around and say, yeah, the private server community supports bad actors and scammers, which they do, which is also another point I really don't understand. It's also where I uh, did a lot of videos about, like, I really don't understand this, why this scene is so in love with bad people, where you can see that they do bad things and stuff like this. And I'm not saying, you know, if you're new, you don't know better. I mean, literally, people fling towards these people. I really don't understand this. I really don't. Maybe you can enlighten me. And now, this was really, really rambly. The crux of it is, I think going forward, if the private server scene wants to actually grow, they need to do something about the toxicity. They need to do about the huge ego from some project uh, owners as well. You know, the, uh, some people have huge egos. You know, maybe going more back to the roots, you know, what the scene is all about, you know, the love of uh, World of Warcraft to actually emulate it to uh, even have more like um, custom stuff and stuff like this something that blizzard doesn't offer or most likely will never be able to offer in the first place you know um, and not this drama seeking uh, bullshit clowns uh, circle you know I, I really don't know maybe maybe i'm tripping maybe it isn't that bad Certainly there are good people uh, here as well, as, or else I wouldn't uh, stay around. Maybe something to think about, and uh, I will of course let you know when I uh, you know, have experienced more about the community, uh, my work in the World of Warcraft private server scene, and I certainly try to make it better, you know. I, I'm not perfect, by all means I do a lot of mistakes as well, but I'm willing to learn and I really I really, really mean it, you know. All right, guys. Uh, let me know if you like this rambly approach, um, not really scripted. My tanks are really empty at the moment. <laughs> anyway, guys, do the YouTube things for me, please. And having said that, have a nice day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day, guys. Stay safe out there. <laughs> Vincent out. Bye-bye.